low-cost country. It was that, yes, but it was more an intellectual country. There are a lot of very smart people in India, but there were many disadvantages of locating in India, and I think KP bridged that gap. We found brains. We found excitement. We found great employee attitudes. It's always been about making India a better place for more people. But KP's most important character trait was yet to be tested. And tested how? It was a terrible thing that happened. My phone uh, rang at 3 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Indra was totally broken. We have a place in Masuri. It was a New Year's Eve, and we had lots of friends who had come there. And this particular pilot flew so low over the house. And then when he tried to pull it up the helicopter, there was a tree there, and that helicopter hit the tree. Next, when I opened my eyes, the helicopter had crashed, and all other five people died. I was the only survivor. Fortunately, my mother survived it, but she survived it in a condition which uh, was extremely critical, and uh, most doctors had not given us a very encouraging outlook. I got a call late evening from Mr. K.P. Singh, whom I didn't know at all, never met him before, and he said that he needs my help for his wife. And I said, well, I, I don't know you, Mr. Singh. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm, uh, I'm leaving for New York tomorrow. It's unrealistic to expect me just to fly to Delhi, and so... We had this conversation for 20 minutes where he was trying to persuade me. He was very persuasive. And uh, finally he says to me, Dr. Helford, he said, my wife's dying. What would you do if this was your wife? KP accepts facts and figures. That's what he is. And he realized that the chances of survival for even two years were actually very low. The way my father sort of jumped into it, you know, um, I think he stopped working actively from that day on. Uh, his whole focus in his life was to make my mother better. My father was very clear that his priority was to save my mother and he was uh, very direct and honest to say that, look, uh, you run the company and uh, wherever I can help and guide you, I will. At that moment in time, if he had a conflict, I think uh, possibly it wouldn't have been one of the two. I think both may have suffered. Yeah. While Indra was at Escort's Heart Institute, he actually sort of set up a command center, you can say. There would always be a conference call mic there from, uh, you know, so that they could have three, four, five people on the conference call all the time and be able to talk to, make each doctor speak to the other while he's taking notes. Almost becoming a doctor himself to managing the doctors to actually managing an illness. I really think he, he kept her alive. It took me a long time to get over it. I had 19 surgeries in America. Indra's grit, she went through it. I mean, she did not complain ever. I have never seen her complain. To give her emotional support when she is in New York, he brought the entire team of her friends from Delhi to stay with her during the entire course of two months of treatment. Most doctors just know their own specialty. Mr. Singh did uh, research and he was like a microbiologist, a, f a pharmacologist, a medical doctor, an intensivist, a surgeon, all in one. I even go to the extent of saying that any VIPs coming to see me from Delhi to New York, I will encourage them to seek second opinion from Dr. K.P. Singh. What has emerged out of this is he loves helping other people with their medical problems because he can then actually apply his methodology and get them to the best situation. So in a way, this was the silver lining. That time had come for him to change, you know. Indra's near-death experience became a rebirth for KP. When life returned his wife to him, he started the DLF Foundation. The concept of the foundation is that KP Singh and his family are investing DLF funds and support uh, to give something back. We aim to uh, empower uh, nearly one million people in the next 10 years. We hope that we will create the next institutions 
which will change the way we look at medicine, they will change the way we deliver medicine. He is by nature very caring for people. He is a very, very good people's person. He has not changed as a human being. He can get the best out of people. I'd have to say loving, but another word thorough comes into mind. He encourages everyone to uh, criticize him. And give the best of himself to others also. A giant. A thorough gentleman. Always approachable and accessible. Very friendly giant. I'll call him Regal. Officer and a gentleman. Very detail-oriented person. Oh, perfectionist. That's easy. Focus. Affectionate. Great friend. A great all-rounder. Mr. K.P. Singh is king. The most powerful word, I think, for him is inspiring. Above all, he has a golden heart. Just a very good, good person. Somebody in, in, at Harvard, when they asked him, Mr. K.P., why, why did you put the name as DLF? And he looked at me with a little twinkle in his eye and he said, damn lucky fellow. Did that moment in that deep, dark well teach him to fight for life in the face of death? Did romancing horses teach him how to build relationships? Did his courage to sacrifice his love and high life in England for the love of his country and people reveal his nationalistic trait? Or is he just a small town boy still chasing butterflies against all odds?